Hello there, Twitter world. It's yours truly. Uh, welcome back to the Captain Oats show, all my oatmeal heads. Um, today we're doing a little bit of a repeat video. Uh, so uh, I had released a video called uh, Woke or Joke. Um, check the link in the description. Go watch that if you haven't already. Um, pretty good video. Got pretty um it was pretty fairly popular got some good views uh but it was a little bit controversial and i'm not sure i wasn't sure why um i didn't really say anything rude or anything i was just rating superhero characters then i realized i was just rating marvel superhero characters and there's a whole other world of superheroes out there known as DC superhero characters and apparently there's some hot contention between the two of them so today um, for all the people who disliked my video I'm uh, gonna do a rating of uh, DC characters and find out which ones are the good ones and which ones are the shit ones um, so come along on a journey to Superheroville, where we shall do that. I had my editor find me a bunch of uh, characters, and he sent them to me, and I'm going to rate them. So uh, stay a while, and we shall uh, check these cool dudes out. So got my little list here. We'll just start here first. This superhero is called Ambush Bug. <laughs> Ambush Bug. Alright, I'm liking this guy already. Um, I can understand why everyone was so angry at my last video. Um, already I'm getting the feeling that DC might be a bit better than Marvel. And I know saying that is probably going to get me even more dislikes, but... I'm just being honest here, guys. All I can be is an honest, uh, an honest Tom. So this is Ambush Bug. Um, he's got a little flashlight which he flashes on his face. It's obviously, he um, likes to jump out of the bushes at night and spook people. That's his thing. That's how he fights crime. It's a pretty good way to fight crime, to be honest. Um, say I'm a criminal and I'm doing crime at night. And then all of a sudden this guy in a costume comes out and spooks me and goes, boo, boo. Um, probably wouldn't want to do crime after that. So this is a pretty good superhero. I, um, I, I'd say he, um, he'd he um, be able to fight crime without getting violent. He'd just, he'd just be the spook. Then again, he might cause some cardiac arrests, which is a bit, a bit, uh, a bit risky, but... Um, it's all in the name of justice, I say. So this this guy is pretty good. That's a pretty good superhero. So that's Ambush Bug. Ambush Bug. Next superhero. This one's called Anthro. Nothing special here. I'm not really interested in this one. Um, he's a bit of a um, caveman. Maybe this is a, a caveman superhero. Uh, I'm not too sure about caveman times and if there was much superheroes back then. But he's got a bit of a sledgehammer, which seems a bit dangerous, to be honest. I don't really like this guy. He's a bit too prehistoric for me. I, I like my more modern, uh, edgy uh, superheroes. Um, so Anthro is... Um, uh, what was the word we used? Not woke. Not, not not a good superhero. Moving on. Anti-Monitor. Um, he's pretty cool looking. I'm not sure what his, his thing is. See, my editor didn't give me any information on them. On them but I was exp uh, I was just like, oh yeah, don't worry, I'll, I'll pretty much figure it out. Uh, usually with superheroes, you can kind of tell what they're about um, just by looking at them. 
don't really superheroes are, you know they're, it's children's media so you don't really need to think about it too hard it should just pop out at you what they're all about but this guy's a bit of a mystery and i'm not sure if i like that um he's got nice uh speedos on but you know too much of a mystery anti-monitor i guess i don't even know what that name would imply to be honest um so, yeah too much of a mystery i'm going to say uh not a good superhero he doesn't make the cut no you're out of here, buddy. Get next superhero, Atomic Knights. All right, what have we got here? Looks like it's a a, a team, a little team of superheroes. A little bit unfair to some of the other heroes because we've got lots of different um different people, different personalities. What does this say? The world is basically a good one and worth fighting for. That's pretty good. I like that attitude. He's got a good attitude. I'm not sure. I guess he's one of the Atomic Knights. Oh, actually, they're, they're okay. So they're all knights. They got their little knight helmets. What else did you say? And as long as people continue to struggle against oppression, the spirit of Atomic Knights shall not be lost. So that's pretty good. Uh, pretty good spirit. What does it say down here? For John Broom and Murphy Anderson, creators of the. Oh, that's that's a bit of nothing. Never mind that. Uh, editor, cut that out. So, I guess they're kind of like just knights. Um, a little bit uncreative, to be honest. Uh, I had high hopes for DC um, when I saw um, the... What was his name? Ambush Bug. But, uh, I don't know, they're kind of... They're, they're slipping at the moment. I think Marvel's kind of got a one-up on them here. I'm going to say no good to these guys. So, next superhero. Who's this? Batman and Robin. Ah, ev a classic. Everyone loves Batman. Everyone loves Robin. Uh, most people like Batman a little more than Robin, but uh, Robin's a good kid. So, what have we got here? Looks like they're uh, hunkering down for the night after a, a long night of uh, crime fighting. Ah, that was... Oh, no, they're waking up. That was good sleep. Come on, Dick. A cold shower, a big breakfast. <laughs> he said Dick. Um, I guess... Is that Robin's name? Is his name Dick? Um, and then down to the Batcave to repair the Batmobile. Um, way ahead of you. Okay, so Batman and Robin, a good example of good friends. See, it's good when friends team up and they fight crime. The best... Um, the best weapon against uh, hatred and crime and and uh, um, uh, other forms of badness, bigotry, and hatred is friendship. And Batman and Robin, they're thick as thieves. Um, and they like their big breakfast. So Batman and Robin, classic characters, uh, up there with... Uh, Ambush Bug and uh, Catwoman. So they're, they're pretty good. I, I like these characters. They're pretty woke. Moving on. What is this? Gerard Gardner. I don't know. What the fuck is this? He's alright looking. Wait, which character? Is it this big one here? Or is it this little one here? She looks a bit angry i don't like her too much and her body proportions are all fucked up what is this what is this that's what is this his body proportions are a little more fucked up that's just not that's not normal i'm going to assume gerard gardner is the scientist here uh we don't really get much of a, a view of him to be honest you just get a little bit of an arm um i mean it's a good arm but like this isn't, this isn't a good one, dude. This isn't a good one. I guess this is just filler. I'm not sure, I, sure why this was put in here. Maybe I should look up... Um, you know what? I'm just going to look up what Gerard Garden is all about. Um... So let's see what Gerard Gardner is all about. Ba, 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 ba. Who's Gerald Gardner? Ah, oh, Gerald. His name's Gerald. 
I see. That's interesting. Anyway, let's check them out, guys. Sorry, I just got to shrink myself back down. Um, Gerald Gardner. Um, also known by the craft name Seri, was an English Wiccan. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. I guess they got Wiccans in DC. As well as an author, an amateur, anthropologist, and archaeologist. So he's a bit of a, an all-rounder. That's pretty good. Um, he was instrumental in bringing the contemporary pagan religion of Wicca to public attention. That's pretty interesting. I'm not sure how that really helps him in his crime fighting. Um, born upper middle class. That's nice. If, that's nice for him. Um, so he's a big religion guy, I suppose. I guess he's fighting against what? Atheism? Monotheism? I don't, I don't know, I can't really get a grasp of this guy, to be honest. It's a bit, bit of a mystery, kind of similar to the other guy. What was his name? Um, Anti-monitor. Bit, bit, bit of a big question mark. I'm going to say no, nah, not interested in this guy. Moving on next. Hero Hotline. Is this... Okay, so this is interesting. Uh, in trouble, who can you call? Uh, Hero Hotline, I guess. So what have we got in the Hero Hotline? Uh, we got uh, a Flying M person. Uh, karate Chop Woman. Uh, this looks like a, um, a gadget dude. A strong man. Cats up a tree. Okay, so they help cats, which is good. They don't just help humans. Uh, rings down the... Oh, rings... Okay, so they're, 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 they're not just fighting crime. They're just kind of, in general, helping people out. It's, which is pretty nice of them. Uh, spouse beats you up. Just missed your train. Luck's all turned bad. So they're pretty... Uh, they've, they're casting a wide net here, which I like. Not just fighting crime. However, this series, I think, if I can recall, originally was all about... Um, Fighting injustice, I'm pretty sure. So, although these guys mean well and they're kind of helping people get their rings out of drains and catch trains and stuff, uh, they're not exactly fighting for justice here. Uh, maybe they do in some cases, but uh, it doesn't seem like... It seems like they're more into, like, trivial stuff. So, yeah, nah, I'm not really feeling these guys. These guys are not up to par with uh, what I expect from this video series. And it's such a shame, too. We started off real strong, but we've just been kind of tapering off here. DC is not so great compared to Marvel, i got to say. I'm willing, I'm keeping an open mind. I'm willing to, um, I'm willing to, you know, change my mind. But I need to see, I need to see the proof, dude. I need to see the evidence of them being good. So let's move on. Inferior 5. The fuck is this? These guys aren't fighting crime. They're all scared. They're scared of crime. Look at, is this supposed to be, look at this guy. This guy is not going to fight anything except uh, his own anxieties. And even then, I don't think he's doing that. Look at this guy. These guys are pathetic. DC, what's going on here? Is this what you're all about? They're inferior. Inferior to what? To who? Meh. <laughs> No good. Moving on. Lord Deathman. Um, you got that right. Welcome to the Dead Heroes Club. Hee <laughs> hee. This is interesting. At first glance, this guy doesn't appear to be a hero. However, he does run the Dead Heroes Club. So that's pretty interesting. He's kind of like a, a Hades sort of character. Hades, you know, Hades from the... Um, was Hades from the Greek mythos, I believe. So not exactly bad, but he kind of runs the underworld. So I guess this guy kind of controls heroes that die. Um, 
But then again, here is that die are probably like these guys. These guys are, are ripe for death. Uh, so he, I guess he kind of like rules over them. So he's got a big army of big old weak superheroes that uh, die and can't really uh, do anything for anyone. So this guy's kind of um, king of the losers, to be honest. Not really... Not really... Um, uh, not really um, woke. Not not really a good. Not really fighting for justice. Just you know, lording over losers. Lord Deathman, not good. Not good. Sorry, sorry guys. Sorry, my all my DC fans. I'm sure you're all big fans of Lord Deathman, but like, come on, bro. Marvel is full of fucking heroes, dude. And this is just what is this? What is this? All right, Mad Mod. I don't know what the fuck this is. One of those ones I'm going to have to look up again. Sorry, Gerald Gardner. Mad Mod Hero. Download Mad Heroes Mod a pack. Here we go. Mad Mod is a fictional character appearing in American comic books published by DC Comics. That's who we're rating today. The character is known as one of the first reoccurring... Villains? Nah, we're not rating villains here, dude. Editor, you're fired. None of this. We're not rating villains. He looks like a a, a, a fucking hipster loser. Not interested. Moving on. Mad Roboto. It's the back of him. I'm not rating someone where I can only see the back of him. What is this? This is weak content, dude. Get me fucking good content next time, you stupid. Stupid bitch. Here we go. Now we're talking. Mazden. Mazdan? Mazden. More than ever now, I must get back to my own time and gain my revenge. <laughs> Not a good sign. Revenge is never a good motivator. Do I have any more grog here? I think I got a little bit left. One glass left. Very nice. That's all you need, gamers, is one glass. And then just say no. I remember my, my last moments in my mo own era so clearly. I was standing on the capsule platform. Um, yeah, no, nah, he's a bit of a revenge seeker, not really interested. DC really doesn't have much good to offer, do they? That's, this is, I don't know why you guys are all complaining about Marvel. Marvel's pretty good compared to DC. Um, why, why all the dislikes? I don't get it. I'm trying to fucking please you guys here and you're fucking disliking my videos. You guys suck. What is this? Mind warp. Eh. Looks like he warps minds. Um, I can't really... I guess he's cool looking, I suppose. Got a neat little jacket there. Doesn't really, and big big old boots, but doesn't really tell me much. Um, he's he's a bit of a, a closed book. He doesn't reveal much. So mind warp, not interested. Mister Or. The fuck is this? I guess we're gonna have to look up Mister Or now. Mister Or. He's a geek. What? Elias Or New Earth DC database. A mercenary who works in conjunction with a cyborg named Equus. This guy sucks. This is a, this is a bit of a military man. Military men are, are notorious. Um, actually, I don't want to get I don't want to get too controversial here, but I I heard that they go to war. I heard they have guns. Uh, not, not, we don't, we don't fancy that here at the Captain Notes show, so I'm going to say no to the military man. Even though he's got a little, uh, headphone speaker here. He's got a little, uh, like a little chat, he's a little bit of a chatty boy. Nope. Ooh, I like this guy. Now we're talking. Finally some good content. Rainbow Rider. He's sort of like the Silver Surfer, but a little bit more f a bit more, a bit more of a fancy boy. Um, he rides a rainbow. 
Yep. He rides a rainbow. I guess that's about it. How do, How is he supposed to say it's to stop crime by riding rainbows? How does he save the day? Looks like he's stealing paintings there. Then again, he might not be stealing the paintings. They might be his originals. He might have bought those paintings or he might have painted them. I, I don't want to jump to conclusions. Oh, he's not the Rainbow Rider. He's the Rainbow Raider. Raider? He's raiding art galleries. Come on, bro. This guy seems like a villain, to be honest. A little bit of a rainbow villain. But then again, but yeah, how does he... No, this guy's not a hero. Yeah, he's coming... At, see, he's coming out of this... This looks like some kind of art gallery. And he's zipping out of it with a, a bunch of stolen art. This is a villain. I'm being tricked here. You're trying to trick me again. I don't like it. So this guy... Wait, how does the Silver Surfer fight crime? He just rides a surfboard. Does he have powers? Is the Silver Surfer DC? Let's look him up. Don't look at my search history, guys. You guys are creeps. Silver Surfer is a humanoid alien with metallic skin appearing in... American comic... No, it's Marvel. Sorry, guys. Don't... We can't have any Marvel in this video. Editor, cut that out. Editor, you're rehired. Now, cut that out. Um, next. Dude, this guy's a villain, so fuck him. Now we're talking. Rex the Wonder Dog. Now, this is a good boy. Or is he? The colourful West thrills to the daring deeds of Rex, honorary, honorary Indian chief. Oh, I don't think you can call them Indians anymore. Pretty sure they're called Indigenous Americans. So he's Honorary Indigenous American chief. That's pretty good. Um, I like this guy. I'm not sure... I guess he kind of fights against bad cowboys. Uh, usually cowboys fight. I don't think you can call them cowboys anymore, actually. They're called... Uh, first people. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, mm. I'm not going to touch this one. To be honest, I'm going to move on. Editor, cut that out. Uh, Shrike. That's a good boy, though. I like him. Uh, Shrike. He is... Um, not interested. What else we got? Slipstream. Deet, 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 deet. What the fuck is all this? What have you sent me? What have I walked into? Bro, I hope you're happy with yourself. I hope you like this video. Because this it. What is What's happening here? Who is this? I can't gay... What, who? Alright, we've got to look him up. Slipstream. Uh, here. You better be a hero. I'm sick of villains. Slipstream comics. Let's go. Gamers. Slipstream... Davis Cameron is a fictional character in... What? This is a Marvel character. What are you doing to me? What the fuck is this? You can't be putting Marvel... You can't be slipping Marvel characters in my DC fucking rating video. Banned from... Banned. This guy's banned. He's out of here. Spinebender. That's spooky. This guy's clearly a villain. I don't... You're fucking me over here, dude. Uh, apologies to all my... Um, all the people watching... I've been receiving bad intel. Um, this is not a hero. Alright, here we go, here we go. Now this guy. This guy. This guy. Now that's a hero. Drives of a car. Um, that's about it. Pretty woke, I gotta say. I like him. Uh, probably fights crime. He's got a big uh, crime fighting face there. Um, 
sticks his tongue out just slightly at crime. Oh boy. This isn't a good one, guys. This isn't a good one. Please don't unsubscribe. Superman, here we go, here we go. A classic. Probably blocking blocking the view here. Might Superman says you can ah slap a What is this? Superman, what's going on here? Slap a what? What is this person? What's he supposed to be? Is that a criminal? Is this crime? The face of crime here? Is that what I'm looking at? Kind of looks like the face of crime to me, if I'm being honest. It's fucking... War Bonds. Um, yep, so Superman, a uh, classic superhero. Everyone loves Superman. Um, and he advocates slapping crime. So... A uh, big crime slapper over here, and pretty good in my books. That's a thumb, two thumbs up for Superman. Good job, Superman. You're bringing it. Yeah, Superman's DC is okay. Moving on. The Baffler. All right, finally something interesting. This guy looks baffling. He's baffling me with his little mustache and his tiny mask. Um... Let's see what he has to say. Meet the baffler, evil wiz. Okay, so he's a wizard. He's an evil wizard. Oh, it's a question. Had me worried for a second there. But where's the question mark? That's the problem here. This is why I had me worried. Evil wizard or inve invention? What? Evil wizard. Oh, is that an of? Oh, it's an of. Evil Wizard of Invention. There's not an or. That, hang on, I'm just got to confirm that's an F or an R. That's an F, but it kind of looks like an R, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to, okay. So this guy's evil, so not, not a good hero. Uh, he combines science with crime in an unho in unholy union. That's pretty uh, dastardly. This guy's very dastardly. Combining... Science and unholy unions in crime. Pa, only one of my many new science tricks. I've spent years developing them now to launch a crime wave that will baffle the law and make fools of the police. I don't like this guy. He's evil. He's not a hero. Too many, you, you, I, I, you, you, all I asked was that you did your research, dude. Do your research, provide me with good con- He's smoking as well. He's a smoker. Nah. Look at this. Look at this. Nah. Not interested in this. Not interested. All right. Here we go. The getaway genius. Now this guy gets away from crime. He sees crime, gets away. Um, pretty good. I like him. Uh, I think I, I feel somewhat similar to him. If I ever saw crime, I'd probably want to get away from it, uh, lest I become a victim of that crime. Um, yep. So, yeah, he's pretty, pretty woke in my books, to be honest. Uh, I do like him. Moving on. The Heckler. Ugh, how many more are there? Ugh, so many more. How long have we been recording? 30 minutes, god damn it. This is a flop. Last time I trust my editor. So this is the heckler. He's got a shirt that laughs at you, ha ha ha. And he looks at you with a bit of a, a sly look. I guess he heckles you. Um... I don't really like him, to be honest, and here's why. Now, in order to fight crime, everyone kind of does different sort of, uh, has different sort of techniques. This guy's, this guy's technique is obviously to, um, to mock and shame, um, 
people out of Chrome, and that is can be effective. I gotta say, so he he obviously does the job. He stops the crime, but uh, shame is never a good uh, way to um, I guess like control or police someone. It can be very psychologically damaging. Um, so the heckler, not a big fan of. <coughs> Fuck you, heckler. Get out of here. Go heckle. Heckle, go heckle yourself and see how it feels. Not good, I'm sure. What have we got here? The monitor. Now, he, that's a strong brow. Just goes right across there. Very good, very good. Uh, so, okay, so we've got a little uh, visual of his powers in action. It looks like he kind of shoots big beams. He's the monitor. But hang on. Then who's anti-monitor? It's like his arch nemesis. What's going on here? Why does it work? So this is anti-monitor. And this is positive monitor. Again, another mis they're both very mysterious. I don't really know what they're all about. Um, I don't really want to um, say I like them. Just in case that uh, they um, they have some weird um, political ideologies, and I don't want to associate with that, so uh, I'm just gonna leave it. Um, just gonna not say anything for that. So thanks, guys. The Wonder Twins. Pretty good. That's all I have to say. What else we got? Tiger Shark. I'm just going to kind of go through this a little bit more quick because this video is kind of flopping hard, flopping hard and fast, to be honest. Um, the tiger shark, bit of a smug dude, got a nice little get up, but overall, not really interested, not really sure what he's about. Um, Tommy Tomorrow. Ah, Tommy Tomorrow. He's all about tomorrow, so in order for tomorrow to exist, today has to be... Uh, um, good enough for tomorrow to exist. So Tommy's always looking towards the future, so that means he's always uh, he's he's about justice, I think. So Tommy, tomorrow you're you're all right in my books. Congratulations. What else have we got? Mystery in space. Ah, a classic. <clears throat> Adam Strange, Mystery in Space, ah, I'm so big, I do enjoy a good Adam Strange to be honest, he's a bit of a crazy dude, um, bit of a, bit of a wild one. As you can see, he's got his little laser gun and he's got a hot babe. Very of its time. Very good. Glad we've got some... Oops. Glad we've got some, a, a strong contender in here. Adam Strange, Mystery in Space. Which, which uh, edition is this? <laughs> the Origin of Multi-Alien. Thrill to Ultra's super strength. See him fly like a bird. Yep, yeah, pretty good. I'm gonna say I know I know Adam Strange personally, so I'm gonna say pretty good hero. Fights for justice. Does he? I I suppose he's always in like space and stuff, so he's not really fighting for justice. He's just kind of fighting for his own safety, I suppose. Which I guess self-defense is a kind of justice, so... Adam Strange, good self-defense guy. He's pretty good at self-defense. He also saves the babe all the time, so... That's good. The Zoo Crew. I like these guys. Stretchy Duck. Big Pigo Dude. 
we got a dog with fucking hot tits. I'm liking this. And a cat with hot tits as well. This is this is quite good. And a rabbit with hot tits. I'm liking this crew. They got a lot of hot tits. Um pretty cool. Zoo crew, you're pretty good in my books. Is that all of them? That's the last of them. Sweet, we're finally done with this shitty ass video. Oh, so yes, thanks guys. Thanks for watching my uh, uh, hero rating video. What did I call it again? Woke or joke? We had a lot of jokes, but we had a few wokes in here. I, um, I'm really feeling good about Ambush Bug. To be honest, Ambush Bug was probably the best of them all. Um, but at the risk of being controversial and upsetting the DC crowd, I gotta say Marvel is kind of better. Just putting that out there. Um, please don't dislike this video. In fact, uh, I'd prefer it if you liked the video and subscribed and hit the bell button and left a comment saying how much you enjoyed the video. That would be nice um, if you'd be so kind. And to my editor, we've got some talking to do. I, I need to have a little word with you, buddy. So thanks for watching guys, until next time, until next time.